Now, the PlayStation 5 has up to 825 gigs of storage space and ridiculously fast storage space. Out of that, only 667 can be used. And let's just be honest, with games today, it's so easy to fill up. Luckily, it does have an expansion slot for an M.2 NVMe SSD. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how you can update that storage really easily in like under three minutes. There are some specifications to be maintained for the SSD. We'll have those on the screen right now, so do pause and check those out before you get yourself one. So you've got your PS5 over here. The first thing you want to do is lay it flat where the PS5 logo is on the bottom. You want to take off this side plate. So you lift, pull down and take it off. Now, this is where you're going to be putting it in. So this is the expansion slot. You want to take your Phillips screwdriver and just take this screw out. Got that screw. Then you get that slot off. Yeah. Now, inside, as soon as you open it up, you will notice that the screw is already in place. Um, you might need a smaller screw head, which is one I'm using. You usually do get these inside the um, SSD expansion. So just use the screw, remove it. Be careful here because you could use a pair of tweezers as well. In this case, I'm not bothering. So you've got the screw as well as the spacer, right? So you get your SSD. Now in this case, we're using the WD uh, SN850 SSD and um, this particular one uh, already has a heatsink, so we don't have to worry. But if you are using one that doesn't, please do place a heatsink on it. Before you place the SSD, take the spacer and put it in place where you will be uh, to the length of the SSD, right? So let's pop that in there. If this is your first time placing an SSD, just remember to pop it in at a bit of an angle, uh, approximately, I would say, a 45 degree angle and wait for a bit of a snap. Then you take your screw and you put it in. Now this will hold the SSD in place and the spacer will keep the SSD leveled. Give that a nice firm touch and put in your expansion slot cover again nice and tight get your black back plate or your side plate back push and tighten and you're done now all you need to do after this is see to it that when you switch this on on the playstation you will get uh, the message to format the ssd so do that and you're good to go